Man United have scouted Antonio Silva and Joao Neves. Manchester United look as though they are going to have a huge rebuild on their hands in the summer. Manchester United may target Benfica duo Joao Neves and Antonio Silva for their summer signings. Eric Ten Hag's likely exit from United could bring vast changes, opening opportunities for new players. Neves and Silva are both young, impressive talents but come with a high price tag, which could pose challenges for United's rebuilding. Manchester United's rebuild continues to throw names into the ring when it comes to potential signings to aid Ineos through a strong first transfer window at the club, and according to reports, Benfica pair Joao Neves and Antonio Silva could find their way to Old Trafford ahead of next season. Eric Ten Hag's likely exit from the hot seat at Old Trafford means that vast change is expected in the summer across all areas, with the Dutchman having endured a horror final few months to the season, culminating in the 4-0 drubbing at the hands of Crystal Palace on Monday, which could quite easily have been more. United have a lot of players who they could look to shift on despite having paid huge amounts of money for them, including Rafael Varane and Casemiro and their exits could pave the way for two ready-made replacements from Benfica with Neves and Silva being linked, though Fabrizio Romano believes that any deal for either would be very expensive. Romano, United negotiations with Benfica are open. United must spend big to land their men, but a move hasn't been ruled out. Writing in his daily briefing, Romano stated that the duo have been scouted by United for a number of months, though the price tag may put the Red Devils off, despite any move being considered by Benfica should the right amount of money be submitted. He said. I'm also aware of fresh reports on United and Benfica duo Joao Neves and Antonio Silva. Man United have scouted both players for months, but we should also remember that both are going to be very expensive. So far, there have been no official bids for Neves or Silva yet, but it's going to be really open in the summer. Reports in Portugal say that Silva is more likely to be Benfica's big sale, rather than Neves, but my understanding is that it's open and depends on the proposals that come in. Neves and Silva would be ideal signings for United. The young duo would be superb captures in the summer. Neves is just 19 years of age, though he has already made over 70 appearances for the side from the Portuguese capital, including an astonishing 53 outings in all competitions this season alone, an outstanding tally for such a young player. A calm and composed midfielder who is extremely adept at tackling, Neves, who reportedly has a £103 million release clause, undoubtedly has a huge future in the game, which is why the Estadio D.A. Luz outfit have awarded him with a contract that will run until 2028 and therefore he will cost United a huge amount of money. Silva, who is said to have an £87 million release clause, meaning the Benfica duo could cost £190 million combined, is an equally impressive player. Though as Romano says, he would likely be the first player to leave out of himself and Neves. He's already featured in 93 games for Benfica, scoring 7 goals in the process and with 9 assists from centre-back, he is another star who promises to have a superb career. United have struggled at centre-back in recent weeks, with Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Varane suffering injury woes, Johnny Evans being in his final years as a football, and Willy Camboala not quite getting a full run of games at first-team level, and as a result, it has left Harry Maguire being at the heart of their defence in the meantime. Should Varane leave in the summer as expected, Silva could well be the ideal replacement. Two Premier League clubs interested in signing Mason Greenwood as Manchester United set price tag. Two Premier League clubs have reportedly made inquiries about signing Manchester United outcast Mason Greenwood this summer. Greenwood has spent the season on loan at Hetafe where he has impressed, scoring 10 and making 6 assists in 32 appearances. But his future at Old Trafford appears to be non-existent, having not played for the club since January 2022 after being arrested for attempted rape, controlling behaviour and assault. All charges were dropped at the start of 2023, and though United had planned on reintegrating him into the squad, they were forced into a rethink following a backlash when the news leaked and eventually loaned him out instead. Given his form on the pitch, the forward has been attracting plenty of interest from clubs around Europe with United primed to sell their academy graduate with funds set to be tight this summer. But while it has long been expected that his future lies outside his homeland, the Telegraph now report that two unnamed Premier League sides have inquired into the possibility of signing Greenwood. They maintain however, that a transfer overseas is far more likely with much interest from teams in Spain, Italy and Germany. 
It is also said that a new price tag for the 22-year-old has been set, with United valuing the one-time England international at £40 to £45 million. If true, that would rule Hetafe out of signing him permanently, as the fee and Greenwood £75,000 a week wages will prove too much for the mid-table La Liga side. For the same reason, Barcelona are out of the running despite their strong interest in the player, while Atletico Madrid are said to be keeping a close eye on the situation. Over in Italy, Juventus and Lazio are also in the race, with ex-England manager Fabio Capello recently urging the former to sign Greenwood, insisting there are no doubts about his qualities. Greenwood has just over a year left on his contract, but United have the option to extend it by another 12 months, but given their financial state, a sale this summer would be preferable. Failing that, the Red Devils would settle for another season-long loan, but only if an obligation to buy was included. Jadon Sancho feels at home at Dortmund and wants to leave Manchester United. Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho feels at home at Dortmund and is keen on making a permanent move to the club this summer. The winger joined his former club on a six-month loan deal in January following a falling out with Eric Ten Hag. Sancho's performances across Dortmund's semi-final victory against Paris Saint-Germain were a timely reminder of the playmaker's quality. He has three years to run on his deal at Old Trafford and club executives were in Germany earlier this month to speak to him. United signed Sancho in a £72 million deal from Dortmund in 2021, but the Germans are only likely to offer around half of that this summer. But Dortmund sporting director Sebastian Kell says Sancho is happy at the club and that the Germans will attempt to sign him and Ian Matson from Chelsea. We will see if we can keep them, said Kell. They are on loans, both of them, but we need to make decisions and of course they are under contract with their clubs. It means at a specific point we will get in touch to see if it's possible. I know that the players feel pretty welcome at Dortmund. They feel at home, especially Jaden, and he knows our club pretty well and I think it was a good decision to take them in winter. But this is something for the future, let's keep the focus on today. Ian Wright hits out at Jamie Carragher for disrespecting Manchester United star Casemiro. Ian Wright has criticised fellow pundit Jamie Carragher for disrespecting Casemiro after Manchester United's dismal 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace. Eric Ten Hag's reign as United boss reached a new low on Monday night as Palace clinched a remarkable victory through Michael Olai's brace and goals from Jean-Philippe Matheta and Tyrick Mitchell. It is the first time Crystal Palace have ever recorded a league double over Manchester United and the shocking result will only intensify scrutiny over the future of Ten Hag. Carragher described United's Monday night football performance as embarrassing and singled out Casemiro for criticism, claiming it was clear he can no longer play at the elite level. Casemiro should know tonight as an experienced player that he should only have another three games left at the top level, the next two, Premier League games and the FA Cup final, then he should be thinking I need to go to the MLS or Saudi, declared the Sky Sports pundit. I'm deadly serious, his agent, the team of people around him, they need to tell him, this has to stop. We are watching one of the greats of the modern time, playing in the best midfields we have seen who have dominated Europe, him holding, Tony, Cruz to one side, Luka, Modric to the other was one of the best midfields. He could easily go up against the Barcelona midfield that we all loved of, Sergio, Busquets, Xavi, Andres, Iniesta. So he's been an absolute great. I am nowhere near on a level of what that man has achieved, winning, Champions Leagues, playing for Brazil and Real Madrid. But I always remember something when I retired myself, and there was a saying I always remember as a footballer, leave the football, before the football leaves you. The football has left him at this top.